Okay, folks, welcome back. Now, in this lesson, we're going to be creating uh, a few other motions. If you take a look here, this is uh, one of the parts. You see, that's after we... Let me just go ahead. Um, let's take a look at what we want. So, we are here at the moment, okay? So, we're going to be adding this motion here you can see this rotation and also this second rotation okay so let's go ahead and do that very quickly uh, so at about frame 190 you see we have this and here as you can see the camera kind of moves and rotates so maybe about frame 225 is going to be enough for our first motion and we're going to be selecting these cubes that are in the uh, basically uh, middle part of our cube so let's go ahead and uh, select them uh, there are cube uh, let's see uh, 21 12 let's go ahead and select them from here I have right I have uh, basically I write down the uh, numbers for these cubes and uh, let's go 3 also 5 16 so this is 5 this is 16 and let's go 10, 20, 3, 14. So uh, 10, 23, and 14. So we have basically this 9 cube. And if I go ahead and move them, and 13. So let's go ahead and actually select the 13th. And here is, you can see we have selected all these cubes. Now, uh, if I go ahead and uh, select my rotation, I'm going to uh, make sure to basically add a keyframe for these guys okay so we have all of these guys and we're going to go ahead and basically uh, add a keyframe if you go to your uh, rotation tool while we have it here okay folks now uh, we can go ahead and rotate them if I go ahead and rotate them right now you can see we're gonna have some problems you see they're kinda uh, the axis basically is not right so what you're gonna be doing is if you go to your rotation select this rotation and go to your object axis you have this re-object manipulation and this uh, gimballing rotation let's go ahead and uh, select both of these guys i'm going to set a keyframe for these uh, nine cubes that we have selected and if i go to about 15 frame would be enough 240 and let's go ahead and maybe uh, rotate them this way let's go about 90 degrees perfect let's set another keyframe and as you can see we have absolutely no problem and if i hit play there we go so that's what we want uh, the next thing would be to kind of wait until the camera make this big move you see that's the camera movement if I go ahead and maybe go to the stop view let's see where we are here there we go here's you can see the camera making this big rotation here that's what we are talking about you see so we're basically moving the camera instead of the ba moving the whole uh, structure here so what I'm going to be doing let's go ahead and uh, about frame if you take a look 265 it's a good starting point to uh, rotating this guy again so let's go ahead and do that so I'm going to about 265 and we have those cubes still selected so I'm going to create another uh, keyframe and again about 15 frame 280 I'm going to uh, kind of rotate them again 90 degrees okay so let's go ahead and do that and set another keyframe so if you go ahead and take a look that's what we have one motion and the second motion perfect perfect extremely perfect okay folks now before actually we finish this uh, lesson I'm gonna go ahead and do one um, extra motion if you take a look at the design you see here is the first rotation Here's a second rotation and if you take a look at the design we have another rotation here about here okay so let's go ahead and do that so here's the first the second and we have still those cubes selected so I'm going to maybe frame 200 um, maybe 295 okay and again set a keyframe for them and go to maybe 200 350 300 maybe 10 and rotate these guys again perfect so let's go ahead and set another keyframe for them and there we go perfect so we hit play one 
two, three, and now we can actually go ahead and do the uh, final motion that we have in the next lesson. So I'll see you there.